Hi everyone, I'm Liz and welcome back to Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch for Floss Tube episode 84. <music> Welcome back to another floss tube episode. A little bit delayed, but I'm back. I am now on day 13 of being sick. <laughs> Just what you want. Um, three weeks before I get married to be <laughs> all sinused up. Um, I started getting sick a week and a half, well, two weeks ago, and um, ended up not having COVID like I thought I did but instead I got a sinus infection, an ear infection, and bronchitis. And uh, it's been super fun. I feel much physically better. I haven't had a fever in a week. Um, I'm on antibiotics, but I cannot get the sinus congestion to clear up. It just doesn't want to go anywhere. So I'm dealing with it, <laughs> trying to live my life, but <laughs> I just have to blow my nose and clear my ears and, you know, deal with the crud every five seconds, but I'm going to get through this floss tube, even if I have to make 100 edits. <laughs> I hope everyone else has been well and is enjoying summer or fall, winter, winter in the Southern Hemisphere, right? Um, <laughs> hope everybody's enjoying um, June. Uh, June is my favorite month because it is my birthday month. And now that I'm saying that, I'm looking over my shoulder and realizing I didn't change my wordplay. So let me do that. Okay, my wordplays that are now um, secure with washers and magnets. <laughs> I got June on there. Um, I stitched this, I think, two years ago now. Maybe it was a year ago. I feel like it was two. I don't remember. I've got four of them done. I've got eight more to go. So I just rotate them out when I'm in the right month. So. There's June. I think I'm really fighting a case of hat here tonight. This is Friday night. Um, we were in the pool earlier, I had a hat on, and I probably should have washed my hair before I got on video, but I didn't. <laughs> okay, let me focus because I feel like this is going to be a long one. Um, so as I mentioned, I am leaving for my wedding in less than three weeks, which is very exciting and also very overwhelming because I hope I've done everything. I hope I have everything planned, booked. I know I've paid for things. Um, <laughs> so I actually pick up my wedding dress tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's exciting. Uh, I have to confirm like for my photo booth, like a backdrop and like a template. That's something fun. Oh, we've got a, I still haven't done all the music. Like we've got to give the DJ our first dance, um, which since it's Vegas and um, we kind of wanted like an old school Vegas theme in our reception, we're going to do um, an Elvis Presley song. I mean, he's not from Vegas. He's from Memphis, right? But, um, you know, Elvis is well known for his Vegas residency. So I think we're going to do an Elvis song for our first dance, um, which is also from secretly one of my favorite rom-coms uh, of the 90s, which is Fool's Russian. <laughs> Does anybody else love Fool's Russian? Because I love Fool's Russian. Anyways, um, so we're going to do um, I Can't Help Falling in Love by Elvis. Um, so I need to give the DJ that information. <laughs> oh, we also met our officiant and he was really funny and fun and had some really good advice and um, looking forward to seeing him in person in Las Vegas. So it's just really all coming together. Three more weeks and I'm a married lady. So anyways, that's very exciting. <laughs> and so basically all I've been doing the past couple of weeks is coughing up a storm, blowing my nose and buying honeymoon dresses online. <laughs> Um, honeymoon dress is any type of summer dress that I think looks cute and I'm just like oh well I need it for my honeymoon. Um, I probably can't wear 13 sundresses in a six day trip but I'm gonna try. Uh, <laughs> okay let me show you guys my stitching and my sewing and my haul and my heavy mail 
and we have a really fun giveaway at the end. So let's get into it. Okay, I have no finishes and no FFOs to show you this week. So let me just go through my whips. And I had one new start um, over the last three weeks. And this new start is actually um, something I got in the mail a couple of weeks ago. And it is from Heartstring Samplery. And this is part of her small samplings collection, which I believe are exclusive to her website. Um, so it's something you can only get directly from her. And this is the Janet Haig Pratt 1883 sampler. And so I, um, she posted this on Instagram. I just fell in love with the colors. It's only four floss colors. And she said that she had kits available on her site. And so I went over there and snapped one up immediately. And so I got the four floss colors and the fabric and the pattern. And I went with the 36 count fabric and I got a little start on it because I couldn't help myself. <laughs> so this is um, Janet, Janet Haig Pratt on 36 count gray by Weeks Dye Works with all the called for DMC, which again is just four colors. And I got I mean, this is really only like 112 by 112, I think, or 119 by 119. So it's really small. This is the full width, like right over here by the A. So um, I actually kind of decided that this is definitely going to be going on my wedding and honeymoon with me because um, it's a small sampler. It's a really easy to read chart and it's just four colors of DMC. So super easy to tote around and have everything I need without needing a big, huge chart booklet and a whole ring full of colors. So this is definitely going to be a project that I can work on next to the pool, <laughs> as long as I stay away from the water. <laughs> um, a few years ago, I went on a girl's trip for my birthday at this time of the year, because my birthday's actually next week. Uh, and Facebook reminded me, I think it was like three years ago, my sister and my best friend and I went to a resort in San Antonio. And um, I was a little bit under the weather on that trip too. Not like as bad as I was last week, but like I had a little bit of a cold, so I didn't want to be in the water as much. And so I just laid in this big comfy lounge chair. And I remember I was stitching like a gingerbread Little House Needleworks piece <laughs> next to the pool. And so many people were stopping to be like, oh, my mom crochets. And I was like, okay, this is cross stitch. <laughs> Do y'all ever get that if you ever stitch in public when people are like, oh, that's so cool. My aunt knits. And you're like, okay. <laughs> I love that. I mean, it's very cute. Like I will talk to anybody who wants to talk to me about crafting. I don't care what they call it, but I just love that like when people want to relate with you, right? But they don't really know what you're doing. They just know it's crafty and they're like, oh, I think I know somebody who's crafty. What do they do? Um, but anyways, it's very fun. So I was just stitching Christmas by the pool. So I feel like I could be stitching on a sampler by the pool on our honeymoon. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, also um, in my little kit, Beth sent a super cute little black ring and she sent us floss cards um so you know we could put all of our floss on so like literally this came as a full project because I store my floss on rings on cards and so she you know gave me the ring gave me the cards gave me the floss all I had to do was find a needle um and so I started my project <laughs> so uh, I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye on best Instagram for more of these kits because I love it okay next up I worked on Ann Topley so in my last video, I was talking about all of my Sampler September starts from a couple years ago. And so many people were like, oh my gosh, work on Antopoli. It's so gorgeous. And it is so gorgeous. Um, and so I was like, okay, let me work on this one for a little while. So here is where I'm at with Antopoli. I just love the bright colors on the black linen. This is a charcoal um, linen by Weeks Dye Works and it's 36 count and I'm using the call for colors, except um, if you see the I and the J in light blue, I changed that light blue. I don't remember what was called for and what I changed it to right off the top of my head, but I just, the called for blue, just you couldn't see it on my fabric. So I changed um, that one color, but otherwise this is all the called for. Okay, I pulled another project out this past week that I have not worked on in a long time, um, really since I started it, which was, this was my Christmas Day start of 2021, and it's the Peace on Earth Sampler by um, Cottage Garden Samplings. And this sampler is just absolutely gorgeous. That big basket of flowers up top is really what sold me. Um, and just the colors, it's, it's even prettier in person, which I know is true of a lot of charts, but... 
Um, yeah, I just, oh, I love it. So that's where I'm at with this one. I feel like I made a lot of good progress on this, really getting um, that center basket kind of filled in and filled out. Uh, I am stitching mine. Oh, I forgot to look up the fabric. I'm pretty sure this is a 36 count Wren by Picture This Plus. If it's different, I'll put it on the screen. But I am using a 36 count fabric and I'm using every called for color except this dark brown. Um, it calls for Dark Chocolate by Gentle Arts and I just could not find it anywhere. So I subbed in a Weeks Dye Works Chestnut, which is just a dark, dark brown. So I think it works. And I just absolutely love this. It's a Christmas sampler, like by name and kind of design, but like, I just, I don't think it's that Christmassy and I've just been absolutely loving working on it. So I'll probably keep this one out for a little while longer. Although I won't be bringing this one um, on the trip with me because it's got, uh, instead of having like a multi-page chart, it's like a huge sheet that like folds out. And so I can't even imagine trying to wrangle that chart while I was away from home, so. This one does not get to come on a honeymoon. Okay, and then the last thing I stitched on over the last few weeks was Land That I Love. Why do I sing it? Um, I, I just am kind of obsessed with the idea with having as much of this done as possible by the time September rolls around and I go to Quilter Station for um, the Quilter Station retreat. <laughs> it's... Um, in September, I think it's like September 8th or 9th or something, and uh, Teresa Kogut is going to be one of the featured designers, and I just am kind of obsessed with the idea of bringing this and having it as close to done as possible. I don't, who knows, I don't think I'll actually finish it. This is a huge sampler, but I am at least halfway now, so you want to see? Here it is! <laughs> oh my gosh. I love this piece so much, so much. Um, I am using all the called for threads, the DMC and the Weeks Dye Works and maybe some classic color works. I don't know, I'm using all the called for colors. And I did hand dye my own 36 count fabric because I couldn't find tin roof at the time. So this is just kind of my own grayish blend that I like. Um, and here, let me see if I can give you some close-ups. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we'll see how far I get on this over the summer, but I definitely want to keep this one out and working on it this summer because I just have, I've just been having a lot of fun working on this, even though it's huge. Uh, I don't know. I love the color. So it's really the colors, I think. I'm like in a very red, white, and blue um, summer stitching mode right now. Like the Sally Spencer that I stitched uh, last, that I showed you finished last time, uh, kind of had a red, white, and blue with some pink um, and aqua colors in it. And um, this one, I don't know, I'm just all about color right now. So that is land that I love. Oh, and while we're talking about retreats, I don't know why I keep forgetting to mention, probably because it's like a year away, but in addition to the Quilter Station retreat that I signed up for in September, I also signed up for Stitch North, which is in Canada, uh, Canada, as you know, it's very high class people say. Uh, it's like saying Target. Um, what was the one for Walmart? Wasn't there like a bougie name for Walmart? Oh, I can't remember. I'd have to call my aunt and ask her. <laughs> uh, oh no, she just used to call it Wally World. Okay, I don't know. Maybe there was never like a Target version of Walmart. I'm off track. Uh, I'm going to Stitch North and with Kathleen, um, Situation Normal. And I think a lot of you guys, because I've heard from a lot of people who's all, who are also going to Stitch North, which is very exciting. I got myself a room at the hotel, so I will like be in it. I'll be there. Um, I also want to go see Niagara Falls while I'm up there because that's on my bucket list of places to see. And when am I ever going to be near Niagara Falls again? <laughs> so I got to go do that while I'm up there. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I need to renew my passport because it definitely expires on my birthday this year, uh, which is in two weeks. Oops. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to add that to the to-do list. <laughs> I haven't left the country in a few years because I used to travel to Ireland a lot for work and 
that has gone, <laughs> you know, off a cliff. Um, and I have been to Canada once before, but I've only been to Montreal and Quebec. So I'm excited to see Ontario and Toronto and Niagara. So anyways, if you guys are going to be there, let me know at a quilter station or at Stitch North. Um, I think Stitch North is in April or May 2023. So quite a bit, quite a ways off. So, <laughs> okay. So that was my stitching, but I've also done quite a bit of sewing over the past few weeks. First thing I made uh, is called a fat corner pop-up, which is a little tiny collapsible trash can. And I bought this as a kit with like the spring, all the stuff you need at a quilt show a few years ago. And I had taken it off my shelf and looked at it and put it back, taken it off my shelf, looked at it, put it back like over the years, being like, oh, this looks complicated. Oh, there's too many steps. <laughs> Just being a real whiner. Uh, and the other night when I was like finally feeling a little bit better and I just wanted to sit down and sew something start to finish like easy hour or two you know I was like oh I have that little trash can kit let me grab that and so I was like you're gonna do it and so like I googled or I youtubed you know a video tutorial because um just reading through the instructions like it looks kind of daunting and I'm like there's got to be a video there was I found the video um so let me show you the trash can look how cute this is <laughs> Here is my little collapsible tiny trash can. Uh, I used um, the elastic, which is how you, you know, secure it and keep it nice and flat. Um, I added, it came with like a little tag. And so I added the tag and then I created a little tab so I can hang it um, over by my sewing machine. I have a little peg rail so I can hang it up there and toss all my threads in or just you know, to hold it by, whatever. Um, and I just use this little strawberry print. And honestly, it took me about an hour and a half. Uh, it's very simple. It's just there's like some tricky parts and uh, sewing the circle, like you need to make sure your sewing machine has a nice, small enough free arm that you're able to actually sew, you know, top stitch the circle and that kind of stuff. But it's really a very simple project. So yay, it's like a little accordion. <laughs> And now that I've made one, they sell like replacement or not replacement, but like you can buy standalone like springs and stuff like to create more of these. So I definitely want to get, I think, um, some more because I just think this would be fun little gifts. I'm definitely going to bring this on retreat with me because, um, you know, I can fold it flat like this and then have it as like my little ort container, my little trash can at my station. So <laughs> I have my computer up. Um so I can reference notes while I'm doing this video because I know I'm gonna be talking for a while. And I just saw a text uh, pop up on my computer from Rob to like our little family, like sister, husband group chat. And I'll put a picture up of what he sent. We just got groceries and Jonesy jumped on the counter and ripped a hole in the Hawaiian bag or the Hawaiian roll bag and took some Hawaiian rolls. <sighs> This cat, he's real, real lucky he's cute. Okay, anyways, I guess I don't get a Hawaiian roll with ham and Swiss um, for lunch tomorrow as I was planning. So besides Jonesy, um, I have been sewing a bunch these past couple of weeks. Um, the first thing is I started a new quilt. Did I start two new quilts? I think I started two new quilts since I've seen you last. Okay, the first quilt I started was my Ladybird quilt, the Marietta. Is it Marietta or Marietta? I don't know. I'll put the picture of the pattern up on the screen. Um, I went ahead and got started on this quilt and um, just digging out the quilt blocks to show you guys. So, so far I have made all 36 of my flower blocks, which look like this and all kinds of various colors and prints. Um, super cute. And so I've made the 36 flower blocks I need. And then I am right now working on the 39 patches I need. I think I've got 20 of them together. I think I have 10 more of these to make. And then once I have that, I can assemble the quilt top. So the quilt top goes together um, with kind of a lot of background, which I'm using this Lori Holt um, B Basic. Uh, and then I've got some other additional fabrics to either use possibly as a border. I'm trying to decide. I'll see when the top goes together if I want a border or not, or I'll use these on the back. 
Um, I just picked some of my favorite prints. So very excited about that. Um, I've actually got <laughs> this fun little strip of chain pieced um, <laughs> blocks for my, uh, for my little nine patches that I've been working on. I kind of just put this one aside because I started another quilt, which I will show you right now. Okay, so the other quilt that I started over the past couple of weeks is a quilt along that I'm doing here on YouTube, which you might have seen a couple of videos for so far. Um, I'm kind of, I'm referring to it as my Fat Corner Hourglass Remix quilt along. And these are completely free basic techniques um, to sew half square triangles and hourglass blocks and um, arrange them randomly and create a really fun, easy, quick to do uh, couch sized quilt. <laughs> My mom was the inspiration for the quilt. She created this quilt using a bunch of fat quarter bundles or fat quarters out of two bundles that I gave her. Um, and she created this quilt and I loved it so much. Uh, I know you guys loved it. So many people were leaving such nice comments about it. And I was like, I really want to make one. And my mom was like, oh, it's so easy. You just do this, this, and this. And so I was looking at the techniques and I was like, this would make a really good video series because it's completely free techniques, completely available online for everybody to do. Um, and so I have done a kickoff video, which I will link below if you want to check it out with all the instructions and supplies. And so I have been working on that quilt over the last few weeks. And I, um, in my last video I put up, had made all of my half square triangles. And now um, the next step is to create all of the hourglass blocks. And so I have been working and filming that in anticipation for another video. So yeah, I just think they're turning out so cute. So yeah, I've been working on this one um, the last few weeks and hopefully I will have another or the third video in the series up maybe like in a few days. Maybe, well, I'm not gonna set any crazy goals. Hopefully like five, maybe within a week, I'll have the next video up. That's the goal, um, is to kind of have one a week. The sickness kind of derailed me last week, but I will prevail. I also have a little bit of exciting news to share with you on the quilt along front, um, which I will of course talk about in my next video, but I'll sneak preview it here. And Keystone Sisters Quilting on Instagram reached out to me and offered up a discount code to anyone who is sewing along with me on this quilt and wants to have their um, quilt long arm quilted once they're done. If, they, if you're not somebody who quilts yourself and you like to send out your quilts, they're gonna offer a discount. So I will definitely talk about that in my next Quilt Along video. And um, one of the last videos I do in the Quilt Along series, we'll be talking about um, prepping your quilt for quilting, whether that's at home, taking it somewhere to do it yourself or sending it out. So definitely look for that. And um, I'll link Keystone Sisters Quilting in the description box if you wanna go check out their Instagram and see all of the lovely quilt services that they provide. Okay, I think that's all of the sewing. Um, after I finish my hourglass quilt and after the ladybird quilt, I really want to work on a quilt with my um, Noel jelly roll that I showed you guys either last video or two videos ago. Um, I ended up buying a second jelly roll. Maybe I should have shown that in a haul. I don't know, it's around here somewhere. <laughs> Um, because I did find a tutorial for a trip around the world quilt that uses two jelly rolls um, or two jelly rolls worth of fabric if you're cutting it from yardage. And so I think I'm going to do a trip around the world with those fabrics and I really want to get that one started, but I've got to finish my ladybird quilt. I've got to finish my fat quarter hourglass remix. I've got to get married and go on a honeymoon and then maybe I can fit in some more quilts. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm gonna get to a point like in a week or two where I'm just like what am I doing I've got to like get ready for the wedding and stop sewing every you know like five hours a day but anyways we haven't hit that point yet oh here it is this is my very pretty Noel jelly roll oh I'm obsessed with these fabrics okay um let's do some haul just have a couple things um yeah, just a couple things a haul. Then I have a lot of fun happy mail and a really fun giveaway. Okay, I got um, my Moda Fat Quarter Club for June. And this is called Merry Little Christmas by Moda. 
and it's like a very red and aqua themed Christmas print and it's very very cute so love this and then I got my um fine floss club for May and this is all of salmon pinks which are so gorgeous and this is NPI silk floss and I really have a nice collection of this going now um which I think what that means for me is like more Kathy Barrick patterns <laughs> and Liz Matthews patterns because they always call for NPI silk and I've got a stash of it so just need some more charts Oh, I also got um, one of my Lindy Stitches Bird Crush Clubs in the mail. So this is the Lazuli Bunting, and it comes with an overdyed thread, and then I think it calls for just DMC otherwise. So pretty. I really haven't been shopping that much lately. I just am kind of, you know, letting the clubs that I've ordered stuff from show up. I feel like that's pretty good. I know I made an order at Fat Quarter Shop. That I probably haven't shown but I think it was like like that background fabric that honey um be basic that I bought and I don't think there was any cross stitch stuff in it I think it was just some quilt fabric for quilts I'm working on currently so I'm sure I bought other stuff that I've forgotten about but we'll just pretend I didn't <laughs> okay happy mail um this I got like a month ago at this point and completely forgot to show in my last video and I absolutely had to. Um, Martha sent me um, a little handmade gift and this card which I have to show you. Look at this! It is a cross stitch double wedding ring quilt with a little married couple. It's from Debbie Mum and I think it says 1988 Leisure Arts. I mean I love this card I like squealed with delight when I opened it and <laughs> texted Martha and I was like ah I was like where did you find this card <laughs> um I'm just absolutely obsessed with it so this is gonna stay permanently in my craft room um on display because I just think it's so cute so thank you Martha um and then she made me the cutest little like most well-made little bag I've ever seen it's like a little um drawstring pouch so it like opens up wide like this you put stuff in it and then pull it tight and um she decorated so there has like there's like a front pocket for stuff and she decorated it with like a little yo-yo and a button and I mean just the quality of this and there's like a little flap with a pocket on the back um I'm pretty sure I asked her what the pattern is. No, I can't remember. I'm gonna go back into where I, into my email and check. And if I have it, I'll put a link or tell you what she told me. But um, yeah, I mean, this is just the cutest little thing. So Martha, I know I already told you thank you to your face or to your email, but <laughs> um, I wanted to show it on video too. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, also a couple of weeks ago, I got a raffle prize in the mail. I um, donated to the Duck Derby that Emily C. Um, hosts over on her floss tube and Instagram channel for um, the uh, CASA. I think she works for CASA or is it? It's like court appointed child advocates. Um, we have CASA here in Texas. Now I'm forgetting if that's what her branch is called, but um, it provides court services and help for, you know, children who, who need it, right? And so um, they do a duck derby to fundraise every year. And so I happily participate. Um, it's a really great cause. I used to be part of the Junior League of Austin um, back before I knew that there's a reason why 90% of the members are unemployed. And when I say unemployed, I mean stay-at-home moms, <laughs> not unemployed. Um, there's a reason 90% of the Junior League <laughs> is a stay-at-home mom, because uh, Junior League is a lot of work. Um, so anyways, I used to be a member of Junior League of Austin, and um, I did some work with um, some local children's um, shelter, the local Austin Children's Shelter, and then um, like a legal defense aid for families and just some other organizations that um, work with CASA and different things like that. So anyways, um, I love what Emily does raising money and what she does as a job. I mean, I just think that's such an excellent calling in life. So um, I'm always happy to, you know, jump in. Um, oh, okay, you guys want to hear a secret? Um, <laughs> this is so dumb. But last year, okay, so last year when she did Duck Derby, she announced, I think for the first time, that they were going to raffle off a um, 
video chat with her, Laura, Brenda, and Nicole Neilward. And I was like, I'm sorry. That is my dream dinner party. Um, and so there was like, you were, you could either win it randomly, like through the drawing, or if you bought the most ducks, um, you could basically buy your way into the prize. And so <laughs> I was like, I'm doing it. I don't care how many ducks I have to buy, except that I did, I think, get to a certain point of ducks and was like, all right, I got to tap out. <laughs> and Emily would give me updates and she'd be like, somebody just did this. Are you going to match it? And I'd be like, okay. And then it got to a point where I was like, I'm sorry, <laughs> my donation budget for the year is gone. Um, this year, I was a little more reasonable and just bought a few ducks. But um, thank you, Emily, for... This is such a long-winded story. Thank you, Emily, for all that you do and setting up this generous um, raffle system for people donating to ducks because I won a great prize. Um, I won this lovely book called Women's Work, which is um, an embroidery handwork book. And then the best part of the gift is this amazing handmade quilted table runner. Look how cute this is. So um, this was made by Lacey Stitcher on Instagram and donated. And I am just, I when I saw this, because we got to pick our raffle prize, like she would draw your name and you'd go pick from what was left on the list. And when I saw this one was like still on the list, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, please send me a handmade, beautiful quilted table runner. So um, I have this out on my dining room table right now and I snatched it off of there to come show it to you guys. <laughs> So um, thank you, Pam. I love it. And thank you, Emily. And thank you everyone for listening to my weird rambling. Okay, and then I got a package from the Fat Quarter Shop, which um, was uh, items for me to review here on my channel and share with you guys. And so they sent two cross stitch patterns. And the first one is Tea Time, which I have a feeling was one of their like mystery box patterns. Um, does it say on here? It doesn't say, but I think I've seen this before last year. It's really, really cute. Very spring. And then they sent me their brand new one. I just saw this um, on Kimberly's floss tube. It's her um, sleigh ride cross stitch. Yeah, sleigh ride. And this is super cute. They have like a DMC and a Classic Color Works floss pack available for this one. I think Kimberly said she's going to be stitching it uh, during Jolly July. So super super cute and then they sent me this amazing needle minder this is a Lori Holt be in my bonnet needle minder and like look how thick it is I don't know how easy it is to tell I could have I should find one of my own needle minders <laughs> you can see how thin mine is compared to this this is like heavy duty but it doesn't feel like super weighty or anything and it's got like the nice big um, strong magnet on the back of it and it's a very cute little summer bee so Love this, and I'm gonna put it on my little magnet board. So thank you, Fat Quarter Shop. I'll link all these items below. If you're interested in any, you can check them out below. Okay, and then the last um, happy piece of Happy Meal is also, Happy Meal, I cannot talk with this nose. It's like just clog city up there. Uh, cute. So the last thing is a giveaway sponsored by Cherry Hill Stitchery. Deanna reached out on Instagram and asked if I might be interested in getting some of her charts kitted to give away and I said yes please. So look at this. She sent me two of the same chart. Um, it's one of her new designs. It is called Bumblebees and Flowers Please so cute and she sent all the dmc with it so you're gonna get a little um kit you'll just need to get some fabric for it um i think these are so cute i've seen cherry hill stitchery i haven't stitched any of her stuff yet but i was looking through her etsy shop the other day and she has some really really fantastic designs including a strawberry one i need to go look back at and i saw um Olivia Pumpkin Hollow Quilt is doing a stitch along with one of her patriotic designs that is really cute and I'm thinking about maybe jumping into that although I probably shouldn't be starting anything anytime soon but maybe I can join <laughs> towards the end of the summer. So these two uh, Cherry Hill Stitchery kits um, are going to be up for grabs in this video today so if you want to be entered to win all you need to say in your comment is bumblebees bumblebees and um 
yeah, <laughs> I'll put it on the screen. Make sure we all spell it the same way so I can find it when I'm doing the giveaway picker. And um, and then I'll mail this. I'll mail this anywhere. It's lightweight. So even if I have to ship overseas, I don't think it'll be that bad. So anywhere you are in the world, you just need to be a subscriber, leave a comment using Bumblebees, and um, I'll pick a winner in my next video, which might be a couple of weeks. Bear with me. Um, but eventually I will get these out the door. <laughs> And also, I'm just noticing this little bumblebee needle minder. I might have to tuck this into one of the giveaways. Oh, how cute. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, one of these, I won't tell you which. Two people will win and it'll be random. But one person's going to get a bumblebee and one person will get one of my needle minders. Because <laughs> I only have one bumblebee. So, okay, I'm going to throw that in the mix too. So, thank you, Deanna, so much. I will link Cherry Hill Strip cherry hill stitchery down below um and go check out all of her wonderful summery cross stitch designs that she has in her shop okay i think that's everything i kind of thought it was gonna take me longer but not too bad uh, i'm gonna go re-up my mucinex <laughs> and um do some nose blowing some deep breathing maybe try to clear this ear because it is full of fluid um and otherwise just you know generally live a very exciting Friday night life uh hopefully I'll have this up Saturday morning for all of you guys to enjoy sorry it took me so long to get back here but you know <laughs> ah, um let's see what's my plan for the next few weeks uh it's my birthday next week next Saturday it's my birthday um we don't have anything planned I don't know there's like <laughs> There's this restaurant, this new restaurant that's like, uh, just like a couple miles away and they have this dessert and I'm trying to remember the name of it. It's like, it's like blondie. It's like a, almost like a cookie, like a blondie cookie, soft pudding, bread pudding. I'm not describing it well. It's the best thing I've ever had. And then they told us that they sell them by the whole cake or by the whole pie. Um, and so I did tell Rob that all I wanted for my birthday was one of those pies and two spoons. So we'll see if he comes through next weekend. <laughs> we'll see if he remembers that conversation from a few weeks ago. Um, but other than that, I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, probably just go out to eat or something. And then the week after that will be, oh my gosh, that'll be one week before my wedding. Am I really going to do a floss tube? I don't know if I'm going to do another floss tube before the wedding because unless I do a next weekend, maybe I'll have time to do one next weekend. Ooh, we'll see. We're getting close because the weekend of the 18th, I'll be doing like hair and nail, facial, that kind of appointments before we go to Las Vegas on Tuesday. So I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to be back. I'm definitely going to do another quilt video or two before I leave. Those are um, pretty targeted and like focused, like as I'm working on the quilt. So I know I'll have time to do that but okay I'm rambling um hopefully I'll see you guys uh in a floss tube episode before the wedding but it might not it might not happen it might be after and if it's after then it's gonna be a while because I'm gonna be gone for two and a half weeks so um I am kind of hoping I don't know if it's actually gonna happen but I'm hoping I'll be able to like film kind of like vlog style some stuff from like the wedding weekend and honeymoon stuff and maybe do like a little floss tube in my um hotel room one morning um to like be put up later not like I wouldn't be editing and you know uploading um that day but I don't know I have ideas for what I want to kind of film and share with you guys from our wedding weekend and so that's on my mind so we'll see what happens um thank you guys all for coming back and checking me out and listening to me ramble about craft stuff. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.